Hello everyone and welcome to this super exciting session today and uh, we are joined by the incredible Antonio Corel Calero who is the hair creative director at Eurovision and he is at Eurovision in Rotterdam right now which is incredible so he's going to be giving us some behind the scenes insights into what it's like working backstage at the live events such as Eurovision as well as his favourite worst and best Eurovision looks, a little bit of gossip of what he's been up to this week. So thank you so much for joining us, Antonio. Thank you for having me here. And, and, and I love the fact that I can share and spill out all the insight of what's going on here at Rotterdam. Uh, um, and it's amazing. Yeah. Thank amazing. you for having me. We're thrilled to have you, Antonio. Before we get going, do you want to just tell us a little bit about your role as Hair Creative Director at Eurovision? Yeah. Well, I'm the Global Creative Director at Moroccan All, so I pretty much do the same thing here at Eurovision at the Bubble. I oversee pretty much uh, uh, all the delegations. Um, uh, I came uh, like 10 days or a week earlier just to make sure that we do the great consultations uh, with the delegation. We know about the look, we know about the song, about their outfit, how does it look on the stage. It's amazing to really discover how many trends are going to be amazing for the spring, summer. There are a lot of the youngest this time is a, a lot of young people here at Eurovision. So, you know, we see a lot of different types of hair, a lot of trendy colors and, and the spirit of everyone has been amazing. So my role is kind of like, a, uh, I do like a consultation like we will do in the salon uh, with each artist. We have an amazing group of people and I have my Sharon Rabbit. Come over here one little second, say hi to your pals. Hi guys. This hi is guys. Sharon Rabbit. <laughs> Uh, 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 Dale's over oh, Robin. Dale, 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 what I'm saying, Robin. I Dale, Dale, sorry. Used to be a <laughs> <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> but I need to surround myself with great people like like her, so we can really analyze what is best uh, for the artists and always having our back, like making sure that we protect ourselves. I know you've been doing a lot of the things with some of the artists too. Uh, yeah. I have them over here, so I'm listening okay. to them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very sensitive. But I want her because... to put a little input because they are doing amazing. And please, oh, short and sweet. It's it is an amazing setup here. Absolutely privileged to be here with Morocco. But, 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 but most of the teams, sure. um, they're, they're obviously really nervous. Yeah. So you've got to think of everything going on. They're nervous, they're excited. But it feels like and, in the salon, we're oh, doing yeah. the same thing that we do in the salon. Great consultations to them. So it really like we're, we're backing up each other. So whatever I think it will work, maybe she just pulled me and she yeah. go check that out. So, what I've noticed, yeah. so, Antonio, is we, we're doing lots of natural curls. Yeah, that's works. amazing. Oh, that's interesting. That's so good, you guys, to yeah. know. This is what I talk about the trends that we're having over here. We see all types over here. Isn't it amazing that they're really embracing the naturality? But also, we understand and we learn that through the pandemic, a lot of people they become mm -hmm. very savvy about their, uh, their hair. So we're seeing a lot of the naturality, great treatments, a lot of the CDM color depositing mask because we've been here for yeah. two weeks. You see how the color changes, yeah, they become a bit more rusty. Absolutely. So we're doing a lot of those things. Whereas we're trimming hair, you've yeah. been like also doing a lot of the styling over here. Not styling for the press, but as I say, really embracing curls, yeah. so diffusing, working with all, all our color collection, our curl collection, that we've yeah. got a great curl collection for them. So we're, we're working really with the artists as if they're our clients in the salon, yeah. like Antonio said. Oh, brilliant. Totally. So they take it home we wanted to well. create, and you'll see later on, I'll take you, this is a very small, uh, the bubble, but we have the bubble one right over there when we do the hair, and it's a huge one. So we make oh, sure amazing. that uh, we create a spa feeling. Yeah. So when they come, they can really relate to us. And because we're working with such a big camaraderie and like feeling that we trust each other as an artist, they feel so secure. Yeah. So let's say one day I could do one of the artists but they asked it, I'm doing a lot of press over here. So Sharon, she just gravitates to it. They already know them, they already know her. So they feel very comfortable to teaming up with us. Yeah. So I'm not just doing it myself. I might start leading, creating, but then we allow the team to really yeah. dance that we, done with us. We have a team of like 25 hairdressers here. 28 now. 28. Oh, my yeah. oh wow. So there's a lot of you. Lot. Yeah. 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 Right. And so for over the past week or so, you've been doing kind of the prep hair for the press. Have you been working with any of the um, any of the country teams that yeah. are going to be performing live at the final tomorrow? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Every team. There's some teams that bring their own hairdressers because they're sort of slightly nervous. So that they, they kind of look after themselves. But I think after days have gone on. With but now that you see how they're coming to us. Uh, yeah. And now they keep coming to us. Well, it's been, yeah. Could you just do it as well? Yeah. So, oh, it's been brilliant. like really 
it, it's been fun. And I always, I want you to put it, you guys, for the ones that you don't watch your vision or to, wanted to understand how do we do it? We teaming up like we do in the salon. We give them the great consultation. We do a nice analysis. We need to calm them down. You know, we see a lot of tricks that I love. And one of the things, I'm, and I'm not going to say who, but we create and we pull sometimes the hair from both sides. I love that tip because it really makes mm -hmm. you look like a cat woman. Oh, like a cat. Yeah. Head. So we're doing a lot of that, that pulling from the little pieces and create a nice ponytail in the back. So that makes your eyes yeah. to be pulled. Uh, so people, they, we're using the little trick like that to really create a little extra uh, 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 boom. And I give them that extra confidence. A lot of them, they're coming for, uh, for treatments into the hair and we wash their hair. So it's a fully spa working. Absolutely. And that's, I think, what they, they love yeah, so much, isn't it? I've just been looking after one of the BBC presenters over there and, you know, just prepping her hair. Yeah. But at the same time, just making sure she understands what products to take home with her. So it's this great opportunity. Amazing. I love it, you guys. Yeah. And, um, I think I this is the best. Definitely. And obviously you both are together at the moment and PP is obviously something that's a big concern for the hair industry. But are you guys in the same bubble for the for the length of Eurovision? Yeah. 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 Super safe. Yeah. This is the, yeah. the best thing in the organization that really did it so amazingly. So this morning we did already the test. So we know that we're good. We don't leave the surroundings. We're yeah. all there. We're about supporting the artists, making sure that we well represent the brand. And also that we showcase us as an artist, we get inspired. Yeah. This is the biggest oh, event. Yeah. yeah, exactly. This is the biggest event that we had done yeah. for a year now. And I think we were so excited and so happy to show you a little bit. I'm going to be doing a little bit something. That yeah, I we're excited not be doing. to have a little bit of a sneak okay. peek and also to find out a bit of an insight in some of the looks that we should be keeping an eye oh, out for tomorrow night. Totally. I'm going to make a bit of travel. Let's see if they put the light on. I'm going to tell them about the okay. looks, but wait, 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 let me show them a little bit. We have them for 20 minutes. Let's see the light on the phone. I'm just doing, and I'm going to take you through a little bit yes. of what's happening behind. This Amazing. is actually today, it's quite quiet, you guys. Oh, we've just lost the video there, Antonio. Oh, we lost the video. You might have Hold to, on. you might have to turn it round. That's it. Okay. You might have to physically That's turn it. it round, maybe. Okay, I'll turn it around. Let's see yeah, if we do that. Perfect. Hold on a second. Yeah, but it's like they cannot see. Hold on, I'm putting that like this. Okay, you guys, so, is it good? So you yeah, see, brilliant. this is where we do the interview. This is where we did the interview. This is where we have uh, our amazing. Uh, well, this is our <laughs> Cup artist. We got our, our PR. Uh, we well represented. So here's where we make also all the delegates uh, that they impressed that they can come, mm -hmm. and we give them like uh, in order to play a little bit of game with the roulette. Uh, and everybody can win, like from a blow dry volume product. So you will do like spin the wheel, <laughs> and then you can. Really what, have we, what have we won today? Oh, let's see. We're gonna make it spin the wheel. What do they win? Happy hydrating hair. So it oh, amazing. With is a blow dry, the hydrating yeah, cream. Ah, the travel kit. Okay, girl, you want some kit that we're gonna be Fantastic. sending it to you. <laughs> and then we got amazing people, Samantha, also from the UK. They're doing some hair over here. So it's about Brilliant. making also uh, uh, making also the press to feel what the artists feel. I think this is very unique mm -hmm. because sometimes you cannot know, you don't relate. What is it that they feel? And this is what we're trying to make them gasp. So we give them the touch up, we give them the amazingness to it. And then you got greatest spaces. Ah, okay, I cannot show you too so, much. I'm going to get in trouble. I know, I know. Thank you for giving us a sneak peek though. This is super put, exciting. So look, when you come over here, this is what you see. And it's really cool because we make that a fun press that it goes all day long. Then we have like uh, the videos over here, all the artists that sit over here. We got great, uh, it's all pretty and fun and the excitement. You got the bathroom, you got a space so is this, for everybody. Is this, like the, is, this like the, is this like the backstage lounge for the Eurovision? No, this is, the, this, is the, this is the press. This is just for the press. Right, press. So now what, we, now what we're doing is just the press. And, uh, and, Can uh, we go to the bubble? No. Oh, Hold on, right. I'm gonna get in trouble. Let okay. me do it. Right. Let me finish. We don't, it. we don't want to get you in trouble, Antonio. <laughs> I mean, I can't no, because I can stay over here. But then if I pass it with the phone, I'm gonna get uh, my. Yeah, like no, that, that's so that's absolutely fine. Can you give us a little bit of an insight into the looks that we can expect to see from the different countries yes, we do. tomorrow night? But wait, I forgot to show you also the trophy. This is the original trophy that is. Oh wow! Be so we have it in our station. So that's it's incredible, quite isn't it? Because a lot of people they come in here to take the photo, so it's quite cool. Uh, okay, the insights that you're going to be seeing, guys, and you need to look out for Italy. 
They're quite Excellent. amazing. They got that rock and roll. They have that 70s vibe. A lot of the men with bangs, that shack. Um, it just speaks out very loud. It's very urban, very uh, fun. And it's kind of like a couple of days of sleep on the hair. Uh, we use a lot of the texture product, but it's still very volatile, soft, and easy. This so is one we, of the trends we that both, is coming huge. Brilliant. If we were voting by hair, we'd be going number one maybe for Italy. Yeah. I would say Italy, <laughs> 70s vibe, a shack, a slip on. It has that, that, that London also underground vibe, you know, that the hair doesn't look too, too, too polished. You know, when it's like a couple of days old and, and yeah. it just gives you like a great feeling. And I know it's going to be a trendsetter uh, because mm -hmm. I love the fact that we're going to go men with bangs and uh, being able to really have the same type of frame that a lot of the, the looks that we do, you know, for a, for a, so I think it's going to be adapting kind of like in that genderless mode. So it, it's one of my, the ones I love the most. Second one, I love the naturality of hair and the texture of France, uh, those beautiful curls. I love that, uh, that look a bit like 1940s, like uh, after civil war, people they had cut the hair and they really go into that mode. She's about naturality, but yet romanticism. And it, it speaks Coco Chanel, like it's a lot nice. of elements that brings out looks from the past in a very mm -hmm. edgy and modern look but looking like she didn't do anything. So well hydrated, just like really making sure that your curls they still have the bounce and they still have that, uh, that movement that they want. So this is, we see a lot embracing your naturality and making sure that your hair is going to be amazing looking, but not looking that you spend too much time on it. So that will be number two, France. France, And then yeah. I will say, uh, yeah. And then I will say my third that always, uh, that never goes out of style What's the country that we do Malta? No, what's the country with the sex appeal? The whole uh... Albania, is it? The one, yes, Albania. Okay, so Albania, if you check it out, is also the the I'm gonna just say that in English, the pimity, like the sexiest of the sexiest. Oh, when anybody amazing. wanna feel like extra feminine, this is the hair that people are going for. We see a lot of extensions, which is great. We see like those courting bands being like you know, uh, like very long. So it's yeah. even like a bit longer than what we used to see. So the haircuts, they kind of like have a mind of their own and they kind of like be growing for a couple of months. And this is the style. So it's nothing too sharp. It's nothing too defined, not too graphic, but yet something that had grow, even the colors. So I think it makes it to be very real, very fun. Uh, uh, and, uh, and it's, I think what's going on today. So we've been styling her hair and then we use a bit of the curling iron, but it's still very brushable. They're not too much of a waves everything's like really flowy and and i think they wanted to spread a feeling that they have inside it's either extra feminine or, or it has that duality of of no gender yeah or yeah. you know you have that rock and roll type of vibe like it's really cool how it mix and, and, and evolve uh, the look that we see backstage amazing antonio i have to ask you what's the yeah. look that you kind of love to hate are there any sort of i mean you're of eurovision there's often some really quite out there crazy stuff going on is there anything where you think oh that's just uh, so bad it's good anything like that where someone's gone a country's gone really out there with their clothing and their styling and everything I just think listen you're asking the wrong person because you know <laughs> like i totally in my book everything is acceptable i, I know of course but is there, is there is there anything rules, we should keep uh, an eye out yeah. for a, in terms of rules being get, broken I'm gonna, yeah i'm gonna get to there i think we the the excess of shine i love that we go back to being a bit gothic in that matter like it's never too shiny or it's never yeah. too leatherish or it's never too pattern mix of colors I think we don't care anymore what people think about the one, the way we want to look. So we see even being bold colors, like Australia, uh, the, the girl that she was like bold shape, but then we use like, a, mm -hmm. I think it was a yellow, like she got different tonalities. So everything is about uh, uh, being your own, uh, uh, like embracing your naturality, yeah. being, being your individual. own true self. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and be an original like Moroccan all for us. is like, I think that's why we partnership so cool. So we see it all. And everything is cool. I love the non-gender with the high heels and the amazingness. And you need to turn around just to know. I get inspired about that. I really love being inspired in a place like that because anything goes. So this is just like breathtaking. Definitely. Do you have any tips for any hairdressers tuning in who might want to get into this world of working at Fashion Week and at well, live events? Yeah. I think you guys, uh, I would like to really pass on a good message to the industry. We cannot do what we did in the past. It doesn't work no more. 
We need to work with the heart. Hair becomes a lot more emotional. People, they become more savvy. If you are the type of artist that you've been cutting the hair with the same type of length for over 15 years, 10 years, or even two years, and you did not evolve to something new, you need to. Because clients, they will not stay in a place that they don't feel like they're evolving with the days and the time. And everybody wants that extra pamper. And we're feeling it now that people are coming back to us. Everybody wants more. And when I say more, it's not just a beautiful haircut but really trying to create an emotional haircut that can express how you feel at all times, not just during the week when you work, but also in the weekend. So we all need to step up uh, a notch higher because our clients are coming very demanding, knowing what works, what doesn't, and uh, what they want. So I love that the present our tip of the toes, I you said that in English, and we're becoming a bit more, uh, we need to be a bit more strong in our wording and, and our haircut and education. And that's why Moroccan is doing so much online also as well to educate people. All the education online it always helps. So it's many different ways that you can become better. And then we can have you here uh, at yeah. Rotterdam or any other country at Eurovision, which is amazing to experience for all the artists. Amazing. And do you have any tips, Antonio, for how to create looks for a live event? I mean, I'm guessing what you have um, to do to make the hair last and everything, is that a little bit different to you what you'd be doing in the salon? We, it's so similar. The only thing that with the products that we use, we, we, maybe we put a bit more because a lot of the singers, they're also dancing, they're moving. Some of them, they have a lot of wind. But I would love to share with you that really, we kind of like pass on the same feeling that we are in the salon, in the spa. The only thing that we are a bit more of products, let's say in the root area because they dance and they sweat. And that also allow us to create a bit of lift. So root boost, dry shampoo, Moroccan treatment light, and then we're doing amazing with the hydration kits. And this is people really wanted to pamper their hair. It's the most important, they want to be treated uh, and their hair to show like they've been spending time on, on making it to look beautiful. Yeah. But it's a very easiness on everything that's going on. And you see my excitement is like- I know, okay. it's buzzing. I think everyone is super excited yeah. ahead of tomorrow. Antonio, what will you be doing for the rest of today and then tomorrow in the lead up to the final tomorrow night? Well, guys, I have, uh, I came over here uh, nine o'clock in the morning, I had to do the test. After I finish over here, uh, we need to do another test because we're flying on Sunday. Then I have a whole bunch of interviews. Then I have some delegations that I have got to see because they might want to change something in their hair. So they're going to be rehearsing. So we need to see what's going on so we can analyze how they can feel very comfortable. But yeah, it's going to be just really pampering the client. This is about them. So we yeah. just become over here like the artists, like the same in the salon, but we just spend like Big Brother two weeks over here with everybody. <laughs> we know everybody. We, we do like that to everybody. We cannot hack. Sometimes I hack and I get in trouble. But you know how hairdressers we are. We cannot stop talking. I'm just like being surround people. This is what we do best, making other ones feel and look good. Oh, it's the perfect place for, like you say, a big team of hairdressers to be. Um, Lauren, who's tuning in yeah. live, has said she's super excited to see the looks tomorrow night. And what were the oh ones you said to God, keep an eye out? So it was what, France, Italy, and Albania? I, mean, all of them, I think you said they were yeah. the top three. Yeah, but I mean, all of them, they're so amazing, so unique. I know when you're going to be watching it, guys, you're going to know what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes even the singers, you got more of a, maybe of a short, easy bop, but then the backup dancers, they're so edgy and extreme. So I think we have it for all tastes, for all colors, and whatever you feel at that time, whatever you wanted to put in your head, create, you're going to be inspired at Eurovision, for sure. Amazing. Are you going to be voting tomorrow night, Antonio, or are you not allowed to vote? <laughs> uh, I don't even know. But I'm going to find out because I got, I love my Spanish boy. He looks so cute with a nice, he looked like the James Dean from, uh, from Spain, a bit oh, darkish in that hair. So I love to, I, I just love them all. Listen, I'm going to be sensitive. We're all going to be crying because we build up that fun relationship and it's just, they trust us. So they know they can feel a bit more secure having us around. Best industry in the world, guys. Oh, definitely. I think everyone's feeling the love there, Antonio. And I bet it's been an incredible three weeks just being back in a live oh event God, and yeah. being able to sort of get that buzz going again. Yeah. You know what? You need to keep the energy like that all the time. Mm. And also the guys uh, and the girls and them in general, they come in here and, and, you know, it takes a lot of courage to go on a stage in front of so many people and a big stage like that. So our job, as always, you know, guys, when clients become stressed in the salon, what do we do best? We listen to them. We touch their shoulders. We do a little head massage. So we do all the techniques that we learn in the industry. And actually, 
it's working the same way that uh, you know like it really is magical we are magical guys i'm so happy that after 26 years i'm still enjoying it like a little kid this industry oh and it's coming across antonio we can see how excited you are and obviously you must Thank be tired you. as well but it's not showing you've got bundles of energy yeah, i'm exhausted <laughs> Because I have a little bit, I, I put a bit of makeup, but I think I already lost like three kilos. And I've been feeling like I'm just like getting a skinnier, a thinner by the second, but it's all worth it. And I wish you guys that uh, we're going to be able to do some collaboration and bring some artists from the UK next year. We don't oh, know yet what it's going to be. Amazing. Well, I mean, we absolutely love that. Love that. Be, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it would be amazing. I'm sure those tuning We're going to make it happen. Definitely. I'm sure everyone tuning in would love to be there. Right, I think we might have lost Antonio here now. So if that's the case, I think that could well be the end of the session. But I have to say that's been an incredible one. I hope you've all enjoyed getting a bit of a sneaky peek on what's going on in Eurovision. And literally Antonio was joining us from Rotterdam just then, which is incredible. So, um, oh, he might well be coming back to us again, but I'm not sure. I think we might be. Yes, I'm coming back. Are, Are you there? coming back? I, was, I wasn't sure if you'd be coming back or not. So that's fantastic, yeah, hello. Antonio. <laughs> like that you guys are you crazy i love oh, you thank you so much brilliant. we've absolutely um, loved I'm it Antonio. And I, it's thank been... you we wanted to say uh to all of you guys that what you do is so important because it showcases the amazing industry that we have that the importance of working as a team we're not better uh one or the other one but we can get stronger when we join forces and well, that's what it's all about and we have got an international team we've got some from the uk some from Spain, some from everywhere, anyway. you know, and lot, lots from, from uh, Rotterdam. So it's it's been great collaboration with everybody here. I wish we could take you in the bubble to see the really We're going to get in trouble. Got that. I know, I know. Oh, okay. we we, yeah, we don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> just unbelievable to see it. it I, I mean, I've just been wowed, absolutely Wow, I was never, I wasn't really a Eurovision fan. You see that? Really you can't say that. But, no, I know, I know. But it's now, okay, I love the truth. Listen, yeah. it's so honest. I love to be honest. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, and this the, is the end, everybody. And the music is amazing. Yeah. And one night I was working just backstage filming little touch ups just before they went on, and that was just like really shaky. shaky yeah. I can shaky. imagine. They're because they're, they're right there. before the stage. So yeah. you have them right there. So when they're singing, the music, the, everything it resonates inside of you. Yeah. And it fills up our heart with such a joy and excitement that Aww. this is what we wanted to talk to you guys to pass it on to all Definitely. of you. Definitely. And I guess they're all your babies. You probably want all the countries to win, yeah. don't you? Because yeah. you, you can't have a favourite and you love them all in different ways. Andre wants to say hello to you guys. He's tuning in from Toronto. So I think he's going to be super excited to tune into Eurovision tomorrow. I hope you get to watch oh it, Andre, um, from Toronto tomorrow. Love it. I'm from, you know that I'm from Montreal. From there you go. Well. So, here you are, can't wait to see ya. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been, it's been absolutely incredible. Guys, like, everyone tuning in would love to be at Eurovision with you right now. So, um, no, it's been brilliant. Hi, You've guys, really I shared that. I wish that you could be over here. Okay, we look the last take on it. Look, who's, who's literally performing over there. You see, what kind of that one? Okay, wait, they're going to give me, but I wanted to see a little bit. <laughs> I know. Okay, guys. Love you guys. We love you too, Good Antonio. Kiss. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Bless you. Bye.